Hello, and welcome to a special episode of uh, Profiles in Risk, a very short episode of Profiles in Risk. Today, we're switching seats. And basically, I am being interviewed by my longtime friend, Brett McKenzie, who is Hello. a PR and marketing specialist within the insurance and insured tech space, uh, and uh, offered, what about, you take the, the hot seat for, for, for once you bum. No, not in those words, <laughs> much more friendly than that. And we're talking about insurance quality and especially my virtual version 5K. So, Brett, the, the mic's all yours. Thanks, Tony. Yeah, it's it's really fun to get to turn this around on you, especially while you eat a sandwich. I'm going to bring that next time I'm a guest on the show <laughs> myself. Um, so, Tony, I watched your video yesterday or this morning around um, the virtual virtual 5K, which I'm excited to see returning. And for people who weren't following you last year or people who were too busy um, with their their kids stuff on Halloween or other things, maybe all of the six trade shows that occur in October, what are you doing in this virtual, virtual 5K? Are you running? Are you dancing? Is there singing? What's happening? Yep. So last year, Insure Equality, which I'm a gigantic fan of, did a virtual 5k so it was a 5k but virtual in order for, for it to be inclusive regardless of what wherever you live um and uh, i'm not one to run 5k i'm not one to run a block i'm not one to walk 5k uh, but i wanted to participate so i came up with this crazy idea of doing a virtual virtual 5k so basically i am a VR fanatic. I'm a virtual reality fanatic. I've had multiple uh, virtual reality setups. Uh, they've actually, like, it has gone a lot better. It used to be that I have to have things hanging on the wall, like Renee, my girlfriend hated it. Anyway, so there's a very, very popular game. The most popular virtual reality game is called Beat Saber. And Beat Saber is kind of a rhythm game with lightsabers. Uh, so, so basically, Dance Dance Revolution with lightsabers. Okay. Um, why don't I know about this? Uh, right for real uh and it is uh it has a lot of of like popular music a lot, a lot it has a lot of licensed real music not just like songs they've made up for this game so it's a lot of fun they have queen music and like like, like billy uh billy eilish and and, and uh lady gaga like, like a lot of, of like uh imagine drags like a lot of like popular music that you can do this too okay so basically I go with the idea of instead of walking 5K, why don't I just stream myself doing that and let people sponsor different songs, okay? And uh, it was, we only had a couple of weeks to prepare it because I, I just did not think of it early enough. Only had a couple of weeks to prepare it. We ended up raising almost $3,000, just short. I think we ended up at like 3,800 bucks on a goal of 5,000. And that was with very little prep, okay? The production quality was also not very good. Uh, so this year doing it again, but this time we have about six weeks to prep and this time, uh, we learned a lot from the first time. So this time the production quality will be a lot higher. And not only that, I, I'm going to be going to several conferences over the next couple of weeks in, in before November 6th, including CPCU, including a couple of Canadian conferences, including ITC. So I'll be able to run around to see telling people about insurance equality and uh, encouraging them to donate for 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 this thing. Uh, also, uh, my my brother who hosted this last year, who actually handled the logistics of it, this for five hours and eighteen minutes that we streamed. The plan was to go for two and a half to three. We ended up going five hours and eighteen minutes. Uh, he is now uh, in college at, at at University of Kansas. He has an apartment with no roommates and no furniture, which for, because he just moved in, typical single guy. Uh, and, and, and so for virtual reality, this is an amazing setup. That sounds like an amazing place to like try with some lightsabers, yeah. Time to plan it, uh, what we learned from executing and breaking things last year. Uh, and uh, the, the space, is gonna make for a much, much more engaging event. We've also changed the time. Last year, we were, we were aiming for kind of like lunchtime, but still have tr hitting the three US time zones. 
Uh, this year, we, we're starting at 2 p.m. Central, 3 Eastern. So we're aiming more for kind of end of the day-ish. Uh, so we should be able to have more engagement live. Uh, people are not yeah. underwriting towards yeah. so I don't remember what the original question was, <laughs> but, but basically, basically, you can support a great organization and get your favorite podcast host and, you, and insurance YouTube personality and crazy conference, conference guy to sweat his butt off. Uh, and, and, and you can choose the song. You, you can choose how hard of a setting you want me to. In fact, if you have your own uh, quest uh, uh, or your kids have a quest, you can challenge me to a duel. One person did last year, I lost. You can also challenge me to, to a, a virtual ping pong duel. Uh, nobody did that last year. I think somebody will this year. Uh, in fact, one of the speakers for, for, from, 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 yes, from the conference last week uh, said she's interested. Uh, and if, in fact, if you have another VR game that you think would be really cool to, to either have me stream for a while or to, um, to compete with me on because it's multiplayer, reach out, let us know, uh, message Andres on the email that I'm posting here below and we'll figure something out. If you are an insured tech or some sort of insur insurance organization who wants to sponsor, whether you want to donate or whether you want to sponsor giveaways among uh, for, for to give you raffled among the people that donated, we did a bunch of that last year. Also message Andres, we'll figure out a way to, 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 par to partner with you for sponsorship. Awesome. Um, more on that at the end, but um, I wanted to talk a little bit about insure equality. You did a great job kind of um, summarizing them in your video um, that you posted yesterday. And um, I know that we were both at the inaugural, inaugural conference on uh, Thursday and Friday of last week. And so wanted to interview you a bit about the experience. I think we saw fewer videos of you live streaming from the conference because you seem to be so engaged every time I saw you across the room. I know I was really um, tuned in to all of the sessions and had never seen such creative sessions before. Um, but some of the um, feedback from the conference, uh, a lot of people felt like it was, you know, more of an unconference. Um, Meg talked about doing sort of the anti-keynote, Meg McKean, um, wonderful speaker that she is, and, and doing an anti-keynote keynote where it was very comfortable and very engaging with the audience. Uh, Tony, what were some of your um, reactions at this um, really remarkable and unlike any other um, DEI conference that we've been at so far? Normally, I, I barely go into sessions anymore. Basically, only if it's a topic I'm really interested in or it's a friend speak. Otherwise, I tend to just network. Run around doing magic and, and networking. Uh, at this conference, the sessions were so good. And, and you called them creative. They were definitely creative. But more than creative, I have never seen so much heart and so much candor and, and so much small moments of, of, of uh, self-care. Right? Let's take a moment to meditate. Let, let, let's... Uh, right. Uh, so, so many details in helping people that I would have never thought of in helping people feel comfortable. Uh, and we're talking about really heavy topics, some of which have never been addressed at an insurance conference, even a diversity and inclusion one. Uh, quite simply, th this organization, this conference is, is, is magical beyond my tricks. It, it is just a magical conference. It is very well priced. Like it's very affordable. Um, the speakers are absolutely fantastic. It is very much meant for two things, to push the industry forward into real diversity inclusion beyond the uh, Kabuki theater or performing at DEI, and very much uh, meant to give you the tools to heal and to grow your career in a way that's authentic to you, even if you are not a golf playing cisgender straight white male and if you are it's fantastic we still want you there we need your allyship so as well, yeah. not, right so many of us are, are not that and we have for a long time felt like like we're not reflected in the leadership for the long time felt like like there's no space for us to grow in in the industry right and and 
The next generations are incredibly diverse. Gen Sears are the first generation that is more than 50% non-white. And that is just one aspect of diversity. There are so many aspects of diversity and so many of them were rep represented in, in, in the conference. So, so, so I, 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 I was not part of the planning of the conference, uh, but I am on the board of Ensure Equality. And we, we, we got some fantastic feedback. We, we, and I, I'm, I'm reading some quotes from the feedback that, that we got. Uh, if you had the same lineup with the same speakers, I'd come back and do this again next year. Uh, this is the most diverse group of insurance professionals I've ever seen. By the way, this particular right. was from somebody who's been in the industry for 30 some years. Yeah. Uh, in, in industry is, 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 insurance is facing a time crisis because every room doesn't look like this one. Uh, it was truly one of the most soul nourishing days of my life. And I, I never believed I'd see anything like that in our industry. I'm already looking forward to all the good people, to, to, to all the good the people in this room will do in the months and years to come. Uh, this is now the standard by which I will measure, measure every conference going forward. That's, I, I could have, I'm not the one that said that, but it is. And, and no other conference will stand up to this. We have a lot of work to do to get them there. Um, I heard the word love at a conference for the first time in my life, and I never want to go back. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of the people um, just had so much joy on their faces and in their expressions with each other. There were some tears. It was a very um, uh, cathartic moment for a lot of people who had never really felt um, I... centered in, in a conference like that, I think. And um, it was really um, an honor to be there for the first one. I know that there are going to be many more, and I've already heard from a lot of people who saw the coverage so far um, asking, you know, when is the next one? So you supporting Tony with the virtual virtual 5k directly supports Ensure Equality's ability to do more events like this. Um, my company, which we are not revealing our name until closer to um, Insure Tech Connect, but it is sufficiently nerdy for all Insnerds fans. Um, but we are donating something to help um, the uh, get some more donors on on the early uh, part of Tony's campaign. Um, many people know that ableism is another um, issue that we try to overcome. Um, you know, to to advocate for people. Um, um, with disabilities who who need better access in our industry and that was a topic of discussion at Ensure Equality for sure. Um, when I was looking for what would be a good giveaway to offer to um, raffle up for the first people who donate more than $50 to Tony, I was inspired by Jeremy Renner from um, the Avengers, he plays Hawkeye, um, amongst many other, you know, Oscar caliber films and roles. Jeremy Renner recently um, broke dozens of his ribs, his uh, right knee, he collapsed a lung um, and had his liver pierced by his rib bone when he put himself um, in front of a snow plow to save a younger family member and total real life Avenger, right? But I know how important ableism is to uh, fighting ableism is to you, Tony. And um, so I wanted to um, make sure that it was a gift that felt in line with that. So I have a collector's edition Hawkeye from Avengers Endgame <laughs> Funko Pop um, to make sure that people start donating. If you donate more than $50 to Tony, you will qualify to win this endgame Funko Pop action figure. It's a uh, limited edition. I don't even think you can buy it in stores anymore. Um, but number 586, if you're a Funko Pop fiend, a lot of people love to have these in their cubicles or if you have a wall of nerdy stuff like I do. So for the first, I'd say, let's say the first 10 people who um, donate $50 or more to Tony, um, we'll cut it off at 10. You, you 10 people will be in the raffle to win this Funko Pop Hawkeye um, real life hero uh, as Jeremy Renner is learning um, to walk again and, and move again, um, which is something we all have to kind of learn how to move and walk again in, in the spaces that we take up in the insurance industry. 
um, if we're to really have an equitable industry, the mission behind ensure equality. That, thank you. That is fantastic. Uh, by the way, she did not tell me up front. Uh, that, 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 thank you. Uh, I, I was a bit of a mess at this conference, right? I, I do 20 to 30, sometimes 40 insurance conferences a year. There's never been anything like it. I've done several DEI ones. I did a DEI one earlier that week. It was good. There's never been anything like this. Uh, we quite, the last quote that, 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 that came in says, this is the future of insurance. It is. There is no question that it is because demographics are destiny. Mm -hmm. The demographics of our future workforce that is entering today is extremely diverse. We have to get it right. I think one thing that was really powerful um, was we talked about people who had multiple places on along different intersections. You know, I'm um, there are people who who come from um, multiple backgrounds, don't speak English in in their home. Um, you know, raised by immigrants from different countries who speak different languages. Um, you know, people who are um, in different places on the gender. Um, you know, um, we had a whole we had a whole uh, panel devoted to um, trans professionals and in insurance. And as Tony had pointed out beforehand. Um, he had never even at other DEI conferences really heard anyone say the word trans out loud. Much more coming uh, about that particular panel. Um, mm -hmm. Statistically speaking, in, a, in an industry of 2 million people, there are probably 20,000 right. trans people. And I don't think any of them are out at work. And right. thinking about the fact that, especially right now, um, with the people aged 13 to 17, who will be a, a large part of the talent pool as the folks you were referencing before near retirement and get to go back to golf full time, um, one in five people who identify as transgender are 13 to 17 years old. So of the, you know, I think it's estimated 1.6 million people who are trans in America, you know somebody in this industry who is, and if they're not able to be their authentic selves at work, um, you know, ensure quality is really trying to make, um, make it a mission so that everybody can come into their space at, at work and be safe in their authentic skin and bring their whole experience to work. And it, the onus is really on, um, the rest of us who are, um, you know, not um, to, the rest of us to make ourselves comfortable and make the world comfortable for others, as opposed to putting all of the pressure on individuals who are on any spectrum of being um, oppressed or having struggled, um, having them have to make everyone around them comfortable with their reality. So that's one of the big changes that we took away, I think, from a lot of the panels that we listened to. I believe you have to go pick up your kids. <laughs> we, we can talk about this for hours. Um, amazing organization, amazing conference that would only get better and radically, radically, this is the most important thing that our industry can do when it comes to engaging and retaining the next generation of professionals. This, this, we cannot get this wrong. Absolutely. Um, donate $50 to Tony for your chance to win Hawkeye with, he's standing on the crumbled uh, Avengers. If you've seen Endgame, this is sort of the, the Hawkeye from the last scene of the movie um and go and follow insure quality on linkedin check out their website and see how you can get involved in other ways while we get ready for them to announce what future events are coming um but tony and i are both very involved and we would love to have you join us and we're here to answer questions you have as well um about the organization so please donate to tony i'm going to be keeping track 
on who qualifies for this raffle and we'll cut it off as soon as we hit 10 donations of $50 or more. Th thank you so much. Thanks for letting me uh, turn the tables on you. Anytime. <laughs>